Oh no! It looks like the transmission is leaking. There's stuff boiling on top of it. It made a crazy noise like. Yeah, we were just about to get to our campsite right before it got dark, and we're only about three minutes away from the campsite that we picked. And then the van just started making all these crazy sounds. There was a little bit of a rattle that we heard, and uh, I get, we didn't really think that much of it. So Danny checked the engine code with our OBD2 engine code checker, and he noticed that the we had just gotten a transmission fluid engine code. <sighs> That's the transmission right there. Obviously it's dirty. Side of the road and night is just falling. Yeah, let's check this. see barely any oil so that's what's going on something is broken inside of this engine and we blew the side of the engine somehow there's oil down there I don't think you'll be able to see it on the camera you see like way down in there there's uh, uh. so we are screwed oh man this is not good and there's no big city around. We gotta figure out how to get a tow. I don't know even where to tow to. Oof. Oh man. Mm -hmm. My buddy said we could probably put it in neutral and go back downhill to that last place. Oh, that's true, yeah. Um, wow. So we can't turn it on. This is not good. I don't know. I mean, we should turn it on. Yeah, you heard that noise. So it's just barely bubbling now back there. Man, this is the worst. He's gonna call us back. Okay, okay, gracias. So what, what happened? Yeah, he's gonna. Okay, so that is a that's a mechanic in Malaga. Mm, okay, has, that's the nearest biggish city. Yeah. yeah. So he Up a has big a number, hill. He has a number for a. Grua, and I told him that we're on a on the road above Capitanejo, mm -hmm. and it's a, it's a little bit dangerous. And he said, "Don't worry, it's not dangerous." So I was kind of oh, telling him God. like, "We're in a dangerous spot," but I, but he said like, "It's not a dangerous place." Yeah, that's good. So yeah, because we are out here. Oh my, this is the roughest thing that's ever happened with the van, right? Yeah, but you know what, Bim? I am so glad we're not on a dirt road. Yeah, that's true. It could be worse. It could be way worse. But it just sucks. Cause so, how the heck are they going to fix a ProMaster engine in Colombia? I think the Fiat one is similar. The Renault one is similar, but I think the engine is not. He said he's going to get us the number for the tow. Hola. 76, 28. Y eso es para una grúa, ¿verdad? Y, y voy a Málaga o okay. qué? A, a su taller? Okay. Gracias. Well, okay, so now we got the number for a tow, right? So, and so we're gonna take it to his shop, this guy in Málaga, right? You just found it on Google Maps. On Google. Actually, I found it, yeah, I found it on Google Maps. And I found the number on, on uh, Facebook. Okay. Everybody says that it's a really great place. Hola, es una grúa? Estoy buscando una grúa para traernos a, a Málaga. Estamos cerca a Capitanejo. ¿Qué carro? Es uno grande, es una, un microbús. Es seis metros. Seis metros. Okay, so he wants us to send a picture. It's probably a nice photo to receive. Oh, this sucks. It just sucks when it's your house, you know? Your car breaks down, it's not a big deal. But when you live in it, oof, it's rough. 400 mil pesos. Sería para arrancar por ahí en 10 minuticos. Lo demoraríamos más o menos una hora en llegar allá. Ok. Estamos casi en Tipacoque. Pero mandé un link a Google Mapas. Ok, gracias. 48 kilometers, an hour, 22 minutes. So, they probably won't be here for an hour and a half. And Probably longer. He said it will be four hundred thousand, so that's a hundred dollars. That's not bad for a you know 
48 kilometer. It would be a hundred dollars for them to take you five miles in a in the U.S. Yeah, I think it's it's pretty decent price, right? Worst case scenario, connecting rod in the engine went through other components. Hopefully, something just got hit with something and it's spewing oil. This is definitely the roughest thing that has happened to us in our time van and around. And of course, it's in Colombia, where we're just not very familiar with the system here. But we got that tow driver on the way. Should be about an hour and a half. Man. We do have the option of trying to roll downhill backwards around that next corner. There was a restaurant, but I'm not sure it's worth the hassle. Things could go wrong. We'll probably just wait here, cook our own dinner. All right, well, the tow is on its way. He said it should be 45 minutes to an hour. Whew, so wish us luck. It's, it happened, you know, right as it was getting dark. We were right about to pull into our campsite three minutes away. So now it's seven o'clock and it's an hour and 45 minutes to Malaga. Yeah, so we're having a little snack here, waiting for the tow. You can tow us to the edgy town where he has a parking lot. And we can stay in the van there tonight. In the morning, they'll tow us over to the shop. Yeah, so our plan of action, whenever we had problems with the van in Oaxaca, Mexico, they kept on saying the same thing over and over again and we just like, went in circles. So I think it's good to say, don't know what this is, I don't know what's going on, then we'll do this. And so yeah. that we're always like one step ahead a yeah. little bit. Well, I mean, I think that getting a tow to Bogota would be the... Yeah. Because... We're the just in the other direction. I know, but, but I think it's pretty much paved the whole way, so that's good. Yeah. So he says, I have no idea what an engine is. Yeah. And then, okay, so if he says, I can't find the parts. Apparently, there's some kind of a Dodge reseller. Right. And worst case scenario, we need a new engine. Oh my gosh, my heart just dropped. But if that happens, if it's gonna take a long time, I mean, if it's, gonna, would, yeah. if it's gonna be quick repair, then we stay. In Malaga. And we wait. If it's gonna be a while, try to go to Bogota or something. So. Okay, so hopefully, best case scenario tomorrow, he's like, oh, look, there's a hole in the side of your engine. You guys must have been driving up in Kukui National Park. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, we did. But, uh, you and know, then... if. If need be, I can walk 16 miles right now. <laughs> 3,000, 4,000 foot elevation gain. I'm trained for this moment. But yeah, best case yeah. scenario, you can fix it tomorrow. It's okay. Hey, look, if by now, if this was a real house, we would have needed a new roof, a new dishwasher. Yeah. This is just insane that this happened right when we got back to paved roads. It was literally two minutes. On a paved road. If it's a hole in the side of the engine, the engine's ruined and you have to get a new engine. Which I don't know that it's that, it could be something much better. Gracias. Adios. Si, sí, yo creo que es grave. Oh, si, sí, es bastante triste. I guess he's gonna put it on the axle now. Probably to get it closer. The van's up on the toe. That was insane driving in there. The animals were like, what is happening? Were they freaking out? Yeah. But uh, at one point, did you see he told me to put the brake on with all my effort? And I was like so scared of accidentally let go what would happen. Oh my God. And it's like, you don't have power steering or the brakes. And, and we got it up here though. Hey, go for it. Lift. 
<laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, so what do we do? Do we sit? I mean, we can sleep. <laughs> we can sleep. We can go take a nap while he's <laughs> driving us. I think this is nice. We should just buy that truck. Man. <laughs> just around like this all the time. <laughs> this is the next level. Yeah, we're on story two of this. <laughs> Unlocked. <laughs> Breaking down in a foreign country. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Here we are coming down this mountain road. Giving you guys a split screen action. Emily's not driving. She looks like she's driving. No, I'm texting and not driving. Sailing along here, 12 and a half feet high. How many knots? <laughs> <laughs> Hoping that we don't hit a power line. Yeah, because what could be worse than just the van breaking down, but also making an entire city break down? <laughs> oh, man, when this thing like gets this. swaying, that ain't so fun. Yeah, this is the first section here of gravel. And honestly, there's a cliff right there. The reason this road is like this is because half of it fell off of a cliff. Yeah, there's landslides. When I was standing by this hill, he said, watch out. A little lizard walking across might make a huge rock fall on your head. But yeah, this guy is a great driver. He's very professional. They already kind of feel sometimes like we're gonna, we're like a toaster oven that's gonna topple over. And now I feel like we're on a toaster oven on like toothpicks. Yeah, you guys make everything better. So this is how the other half lives. When they have two story cars. Double decker van life. We're heading to the city of Malaga, which we briefly stopped in. I feel like it's not like a great place for an extended amount of time. No, there's only like 10 streets. There's no skate park is a problem. I mean, how would I even get rid of him if there was a skate park? Yeah, yeah, I mean, what if he just fixes it tomorrow? He's like, just Midas, Golden touches it. The engine is better than new. Yeah, then we'll go to Sun Hill and have a great time. You gotta fix this thing. It's just crazy. Yeah. It costs so much to get to Colombia. And now this happens, but... At least we've enjoyed Colombia way to the fullest up until this point, you know? It's okay for me if we have to wait a, a while for it to get fixed. Yeah, at least we weren't like in a Walmart parking lot all week. We were up there yeah. hiking the glaciers. And living we in were at a glacier Colombia. yesterday. Yesterday! And now we're on the truck bed. <laughs> it'll be okay, babe, you know? Yeah, it'll be it's okay. It's just a thing. It's just, what's important is that we're together and that everything's okay. Yeah, of course. And we'll make it through. You think this is where we're sleeping then? <laughs> you said we gotta stay here and then we'll go in the morning to the mechanic. Uh -huh. So this is our spot for the night. Not too scenic. Ah, there's nothing quite like waking up in a mechanic's parking lot. <laughs> we called the mechanic, we're actually in the tow parking lot. And he said 30 minutes, he's gonna move a couple rigs and, and we can come on over. So, here the tow people invited us over for a coffee, so that should help a bit. So, off to the mechanic, he says now we should ride in the cab that it's illegal in here and the cops might stop us, so. Ooh, here we go. Goodbye for now, I guess, but I have a strong suspicion that we're not going to be driving out of this mechanic. So the place where we were delivered last night is also a mechanic, and he thought we were going to have to go to Bogota. He wants us to turn on the car for 30 seconds, and if it sounds really bad, then we'll turn it right back off. But Danny thinks it's a bad idea. He said we should probably put oil in it first, but then he took out the dipstick and it looked like there was a good amount of oil in it. So. Just really unsure what's going on. The guy doesn't know. Wow, there's no noise. Well, this is nerve wracking. We have restarted the engine. It's not making, it's not making any crazy noise, which is a really good sign. But there's definitely some kind of a leak somewhere. 
I'm gonna try to check the engine code while we're while we're running here. We're still just getting that transmission fluid pressure sensor low code. Mm. So, man, I don't know what the heck is going on with this. Well, some good things are the mechanic does seem to be really, really trustworthy. Like, he's very nice and he's trying to give us a straight answer. He doesn't mind that we're looking with him and trying to figure it out with him. And So, what he's thinking is that it's probably the transmission that's bad when we were going up was when it became a problem and, and he thought, yeah, if the transmission fluid was low, then it's got so hot that that's why when we looked, we're not sure what that liquid is, you know, where it came from, how it got there, but that's yeah. why it was boiling. So they're thinking, let's fill up the transmission with the liquid we got, turn it on for a while. If it doesn't make any noise after like two hours, then we're pretty much good to drive to a place that actually can work on transmissions. It seems like the problem isn't as ridiculously Great. terrible as we thought. So that's good. So maybe just the fluid was low in the transmission, it got so hot and uh, and the gears started slipping or something. Yeah. So we got some decisions to make. Yeah. So we're going to decide, should we take the tow? Should we drive to Bogota? Well, when we turned on the engine and it didn't make the noise, that was uh, a big nice. moment. That was yeah. like... Well, the transmission level looked okay. So actually the oil still does look a little bit low. So we're going to top it up. And we're hoping just if the transmission was hot, it could make a crazy noise like that. The transmission fluid looked nice and red. And yeah, we got to put a little oil in. Wow, even at our worst, look at Emily coming in here <laughs> with the van cooking. Ooh, looks good. I'm starving. We're going to clean the engine really well so we can see if there is a leak while we're doing this test. Yeah, so that seems like a good idea. It seems like he knows what he's doing. But uh, I guess if <clears throat> it doesn't make the noise, then he has a thing we can put on the back so that we can actually run the engine to see if we can make that noise happen again. The treadmill? Yes. <laughs> Well, I got in there a bit to try to help clean it out so we can find this leak. Okay. Okay, so stay there in case we hear the noise. Emily's gonna try giving it a little gas. So you got it at... Uh, 15, 1500. 1500. 1500. And the temperature is fine. It looks like there's a little transmission leak in the normal spot. We left a nice empty uh, spot underneath to see if it actually drops because it doesn't seem like super serious, I guess. But um, that could have contributed to the transmission overheating. Okay. So, uh... But there's no... But the fluid is at a good level, right? So, like... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's weird. Nothing irregular so far. I'm gonna jack it up and run it a little harder. Time for a test drive, fingers crossed. So it seems like the problem is actually the fan. So that, that noise of a spinning thing messing up was the fan. It's the auxiliary fan, so it only kicks oh. in when it's already super hot. So he said, you know, if we just shut it off then, Get them. Enjoy the countryside for a minute. <laughs> but we're gonna go down and he's gonna try to take a look at the fan and see if they can figure out if there's anything they can fix. Mm -hmm. If not, we should call ahead to Bogota and get them to order a new fan. these fans. Okay. Crazy, huh? Yeah. He said even if we wanna still go to San Gil and everything, it's probably fine. Just whenever we hear it turn on, stop. Leave the engine on so it can it can cool stuff. But I don't know if I would wanna go like out of our way before we get this fan. So hopefully it's just the fan. Yeah, but we're gonna go to Bogota anyway. On our lunch break, we sure stocked up here in the big city. The dog food. That was a really cool market, huh? I love that market, yeah. I think we're starting to get out of dragon fruit season, which makes me upset, but. <laughs> yeah. I'm so stoked about all the food we got at the market. And it was a really nice market. It had a lot of stuff. Some fruits and veggies we've never seen. Yeah. We got a new vegetable that we're gonna try in a soup. It looks like a carrot potato mix with also purple in it. It looks like a witch's finger. Yeah. I would assume. I don't remember what it's called. 
y se llaman naos, pubios. Naos, pubios. And now we just gotta wait on the shop to open up. He's gonna try to zip tie the fan a little bit so that it doesn't rattle. This morning, when we got to this place, I thought, there's no way we're driving out of here. And here we are. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a little nerve wracking drive because whenever we go up a crazy hill or something, it's probably gonna start making that noise again. So this is the start of the uphill part where we expect the fan to have to kick on. Uh, not much farther is where the toe got us last night. So this is the noise. Yeah, so it really sounds like we're, it feels like even that we're running over a rumble strip right now. Bye, Hobby B. Yeah, it's definitely that fan. But there's no boiling liquids on top of it, so that's good. It must have been a bunch of mud and dirt and water from all those puddles on the way down from the mountains. Because that still looks a lot better today. Plus when we shut it off, that probably made it even hotter and started the boiling. But check this out. Ooh, that's the canyon we drove down from the mountains. Went here, cut back up this way and it's a bit of a climb we're gonna let it run until that vibrating stops and then i'll shut off the engine for a while let it cool down i have to enjoy the view yeah gotta wait on the van to cool down might as well try and enjoy ourselves all right so that fan shut off using the obd2 reader app i got looks like the coolant is not in the red zone still under 100 so i think we'll shut it off now and let it rest for a bit before we start again so i thought i might as well check the oil here turns out completely dry i believe that's because of the hill so that was really what freaked us out the most yesterday i knew on the transmission you had to have it level to check the engine light would turn on if there was really no no oil so i'm pretty sure as well as you know there wasn't any leak earlier nothing was ever dripping no engine comes for once our spot is 250 meters up let's go for it Ooh, here we go yeah, not a bad spot for the night it's hidden from the road there's some people here already hanging out Good boy. We're gonna head to Bogota. It's pretty far, about eight hours. So we're gonna be going very slowly, but in a couple days, we also have an appointment with the mechanic, and we'll make sure to bring you guys along with us on our journey to get this van fixed up. I'm so glad it wasn't as bad as we thought it was. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and we'll see you guys at the mechanic. <laughs> see ya.